Hi again, guys, and welcome to my Simple Intentional Life. It's that time of the month, a 30-day challenge and wrap-up. If you remember in my last video about starting this challenge, I proposed that I was going to be reading my 18 affirmations every day for the month of March. And seeing as how it's now April 2nd, I just wanted to get back with you guys and let you know how that went. So it turns out that I did not do so well uh, that first week in March, but after that, I really did start taking my affirmations with me, and anytime I had a little break, I would say at least three or four of them in a row. I would think about them, um, and then, you know, later that day, I'd do another four or five, um, so that I did manage to get through the majority of them for about, I would say, maybe 18 days out of the month. So what that did for me was that it put me in a positive state of mind, which was one of my affirmations. And it also helped me to get clearer about the type of challenge that I want to do next. So April 2nd means that we're in a new month and it's time for a new 30 day challenge. The three affirmations that worked the best this month for me were number six, I control how I feel and I can change my mental state in an instant to be one of positivity and joy. The reason this was very helpful to me is because I was going through a bit of a struggle uh, during the month of March with regards to motivation and procrastination and I was doing a lot of negative self-talk. As much as I try to get out of my head and not listen to the negative thoughts that I might have, I found myself doing Doing that a little bit too much last month so every time I took notice of that I would counteract that thought with a positive thought and I really tried to keep myself in that state of positivity and joy the next statement that really stood out to me this past month after doing my affirmations daily was the one that says my home is a happy organized clutter free and clean space that fosters well-being and family togetherness now this has been a big goal of mine for many many years and in fact it's in my title my simple intentional life i really do want to declutter i really do want to keep more of an open space a light space and a space that really fosters family togetherness and health so simplicity to me is having everything that i need but nothing more than that and because of that I really have made a focus uh, even just this past weekend to really start digging deep I've gone through clothes in preparation of my project 333 video which will be later this week and I've also um, gone through different closets and sheets I've done you know my scrap room which is a big 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 project which as you can see in the background that's where I'm at um, I am an avid scrapbooker. I was much more avid in the past when I was a stay-at-home mom, but now that I'm back to work uh, three days a week, I don't really have that much time for it. I still do it, but I do it much more structured and formalized in the case of going to an event or even doing like a weekend, you know, twice a year or so, maybe even three times a year, but it's not nearly as much of a daily habit that I used to uh, do when I was, uh, at home with the kids so a lot of the stuff that I have I've had around to teach classes and to um, do different things with customers that I don't really do anymore so the bottom line is I need to get rid of a lot of stuff and if I can make this room a lighter brighter happier space maybe even clear up some of the cabinetry in here so that I can maybe get a nice sofa or a love seat so that I can have a space to read and to focus on self-development and that's really my goal so that brings me to my challenge for April. April's 30 day challenge is going to be to get rid of as much as possible in my scrap room. So I really shudder having to show you this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. So here is the before. Okay guys, so this is where I videotape and you can see I have a ton of stuff here. I have cabinets full, chock full of scrapbooking stuff. And yes, they tend to be in boxes and somewhat organized, but I also do a lot of my fundraising activities here for the uh, local high school band. And we just did a basket auction and you can see all the leftover baskets here. Um, lots of donations that have to get out of the house. I've got a sewing desk here, even though I don't even sew, the sewing machine is underneath there. I've got two bookcases full of stamping supplies 
an old water bottle. Um, you know, again, just a lot of stuff that I don't really need. And if I take you over here, you'll see this is like my main scrapping cabinet. I have all my inks, I have my papers, I have ribbons, I have idea books, I have punches, I have tools, I have some of my scrapbooks already in here. So this is really an area that I need to straighten out and declutter. Um, and if that wasn't enough, if we go around, I have some areas here. This is all stuff that I plan to donate. And I actually went through the trouble of getting it all out and didn't even bother to take it out of the house. This is stuff that I travel with when I go somewhere, but there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't use. And obviously this is my pass through into my living room, which is when I used to entertain and do classes here, this was a spot where I would set up a buffet type of thing, but now it's just a big cluttered mess. Um, these are my scrapbooks my scrapbook pages that I currently have on display, which I do like that idea because it keeps me motivated to want to do some more. But unfortunately, I have a bunch of pages that I haven't gone through and I have more clutter. So this is all the stuff that I need to get rid of in order to make this space a more relaxing and joyous place for me. So there you have it, guys. My April 30 day challenge is going to be decluttering the scrap room. And once I get through the scrap room, I'm going to take most of those things to Goodwill, which we have a local one, maybe 20 minutes away, and donate it there. So if you'd like to join me on this decluttering challenge, pick a room or pick an area of your house that you really wanna start spring cleaning, and let's get to it. I'll see you in May.